Our pixels and their digital, numerical production erases the image as an allergen. It erases the real as something that can be imagined. The photographic act, that moment of disappearance of both subject and object in the same instantaneous confrontation, the shutter release abolishing the world and the gaze just for a moment, a syncope, a petite mort that triggers the machinic performance of the image. This perfect reality, to which we sacrifice all illusion, the way that all hope is left behind on the threshold of hell, is quite obviously a phantom reality. We are pained by it precisely as we would be by a phantom limb. Yet, as Ahab says in Moby Dick, and if I still feel the smart of my crushed leg, though it be now so long dissolved, then why mayst not thou, carpenter, feel the fiery pains of hell for ever and without a body? There is nothing metaphorical about this sacrifice. It is rather of the order of a surgical operation, which moreover becomes something of a source of pleasure for itself. Humankind, which once in Homer was an object of contemplation for the Olympian gods, has now become one for itself. Its self-alienation has reached the point where it can experience its own annihilation as a supreme aesthetic pleasure. Let me do Our entire life, the whole liturgy and everything ceremonial are symbols. If you abolish the symbols, then you tear down the walls of your own house. When we abolish the signs, we lose our orientation. As the bulls plunged about the ring, Moller and his plotters were solving their last problems. The rising had been postponed, as the Carlists squabbled about which flag they should march under, and some army officers still refused to betray the Republic. Today I write down this nonsense which I dare tell myself is essayistic, to use this hated word once again on my way to self-destruction. I write down these essayistic remarks, which in the end I will have to curse and tear up and thus destroy, and not a single person knows any more that I myself am tired of my own thoughts. <laughs> And again, we picture ourselves sitting together with the people we have loved, maybe in silence, maybe offering a few childish smiles and glances. However, if we actually sit down with them, we see that they aren't the way we've pictured them and that we absolutely don't belong with them. We never forgive our fathers for having signed us, nor our mothers for having brought us into the world, not even our sisters for continuing to be witnesses to our unhappiness. Thank you.